you doing? Well, I'm modifying everything. Here's the bridges that we bought today. I just put two of these together. We've got a girder bridge. Okay. So yeah, this is the first bridge you showed. This is the deck bridge. We've got two decks. Yep. Girder bridge. Okay. We've got all the piers. I bought a pier set. All right. That's oh yeah, that's in the up. box down behind that's what's you. Holding up there. Here's the pier set. What came with the pier set as well is this piece here. That you already glued down. It's already glued down and attached. So that's what it's gonna look. That's how it looks. Okay. But tell them what you did. Alright, so this is one piece of flex track. And basically I took all the ties out and then I fed the rails through through here. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, a little bit long, so I'll have to trim these down a bit. So I'm going to be doing the same to this end. I'm just figuring out how far back where I want to start my cut because I don't want to feed the whole rail through I just want to feed so much and then right. give myself a little leeway room for stuff. Got the trusty Dremel tool that I use to cut my track. sliding through good same we, we're gonna take these rails out that came with the bridge yeah that's what we did with the first one already all right so we're just gonna slide these rails back out and you just got to be careful not to break the fish plates oh yeah that'd be bad you know just feed through very slowly hey okay, I got some spare rails for something yeah you have four of those now yep so we'll get that prepared now, it's basically uh, snap these up without bending the rail. That's the goal. Okay. And all these ties I'll keep. I'll use for something else. Yes. I never, I never throw my ties away. Yeah, you always keep them. I always keep them for stuff. They have to be pretty broken for him to get rid of them. Yeah. Right? That's right. Yeah. Talk about thinking outside the box, huh? Oh yeah. It's called engineering things. <laughs> to make things work and fill in this gap so that's what I'm doing I'm engineering and constructing I'm um, see I'm I need to come hold that huh yeah, I'm just... all right okay uh, more Dremel
that bad guy. It takes a lot of patience. Yeah. If you go too fast, then you might break one of the pieces you don't want to break. Um, break. Yeah. Just trying to get them go through at the same time. There we go. Yeah, because originally the other two that you took out, you were able to do those one at a time. Yeah. But this one is a little bit of each side, but you have two going in at the same time. At the same time. Uh, be careful, it looks like that might fall off. There we go. Yeah, I was like, wow, that's so smart when you were doing this earlier, starting to. Yeah. Just takes a little. There we go. Yeah, see, it's starting to go in. Yeah. It just takes time. Pretty cool. You're probably giving somebody out there an idea now. Well, probably. See how we would just be that through? Yeah. See? Just wow, that one's actually going pretty fast. Okay. And we're just going to join it up. Right. Wow, look at that. Okay. There you go. Now. Now we got to glue the two halves together. See what? Now there's a bridge. It's already made. Right? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's an extended bridge. Yeah. Now we'll just pull this back. Just a wee bit. Okay. It's wherever you need it. Yeah, well, I just gotta figure out where my glue joint is going to be. Because I am right. going to glue it together. Yeah, because see we're gonna use this glue right here. Gorilla Super Every glue. Every model railroader should have Gorilla Super Glue. It's better than crazy glue. I tell you, it's a lot stronger. It's not as crazy, huh? It's more uh, serious. And it bonds very quickly. So don't glue your fingers together. That's right. Famous last words, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't be like glue, glue their work to their fingers. You know, that stuff. Yeah. Then what do you do? Go to the doctor, was it? Uh, just soak it in water. Oh, really? Yeah. There we go. Just slam the two pieces together. Oh, almost glued my fingers together. <laughs> I said famous last words, right? Sure. Careful. Yeah, and always when you're all the way done, make sure you put a cover back on. Yeah. Because it will dry out. Look at that. There's a dab of glue in here and it, uh, we're just going to spread it across back and forth the joint. There we go. Look at that. If your bridge isn't uh, long enough, this is what you do. Yeah. Look at that, eh? This wasn't Googled or looked up on YouTube. This was in his brain. This is what we're doing. I sit here thinking I need to get this piece in here somehow. So I said, well, put a, well, I have a piece of flex track out and I thought I'll take out so many ties, push it through one end, push it through <laughs> the other end. Big go. Look at that. We have one continuous rail. That's awesome. Because okay. otherwise you would have had to figure out how to piece yeah. everything, right? Yeah. But instead, yeah, it's, it's just all, like it's nice and straight. Okay. Yep. A little bit of a wow, but not too much. Yeah, it looks good. Looking good. It's got to come back because this has got to go in. Oh, that's right. Yep. So you're going to put this down here at this end. Of Oh, and when we were at the store today, we did get more plaster cloth. 
Which will help with all this too. It's always good to do that. Okay. Yeah, because it's extra long. Yeah. So the Dremel comes in handy again.
vibrate now. That helps to talk to your train stuff, right? More, huh? everything back more that's all okay, okay. Oh. stop doing that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a three. Oh. I'm slide these plates in. Okay. So how many of those do you want if I can see them? Need another one. That's a four. Sticks up, mm -hmm. see? Mm -hmm. All I'm gonna do is crazy glue that in there like that. Okay. There, you see how much we have to shim up? Yep. So we just have to have shims, like I did down here. And there's a, I stacked two piers on top of one or the other. Yep. Like small ones, and then I had to shim it underneath here. I'll keep looking for three. Oh, here's a three. See that? So is that inside? Here's a three, and then you want a. Uh, do you want one of these on that? For the three? Okay. 